Hey YouTube, Appalachian Survivalist here. I know it's been a long time. We're uh, probably about a year and a half of uh, the last video. Uh, lots gone on in the homestead here. Uh, a lot of different things going on between uh, work, family life. Um, I think we've had another kid since the last time uh, I made a video. Uh, just things have been hectic, hectic and crazy. Uh, but I uh, realize that uh, I do have some followers. I realize that I do have people who are interested in homesteading, uh, survival techniques, uh, just some some basic survival uh, things in general. So I definitely want to get back into making some videos. So this is my, uh, hey, I'm back video, if that makes any sense. So uh, what I'm going to do is I've actually, again, Thing, a lot of stuff has changed in the last couple years. Um, still have the homestead, still in the same place, still doing the same stuff uh, with the animals. Uh, had had some a lot of animal deaths. Had a lot of animals that we've uh, had hatching. A lot of you know, a lot more chickens hatched. Uh, we're down to like two ducks left. So we've had some some issues with some predators, uh, but. Um, as far as the homestead, it's pretty much, you know, not changed a whole lot. Still heating with wood, still uh, working on trying to become more and more self-sufficient. Uh, and actually, that's what I want to get into in this video. Um, there's a lot going on in America right now. There's a lot of things uh, that people are uncertain about. And I'm not going to be political. I'm not going to get into politics of it. However... There are a lot of threats out there, and there are a lot of uh, issues that could change our way of life by simply, you know, something as simple as uh, we lose a local power switch, you know, whether it be a terrorist attack, whether it be uh, some kind of, uh, you know, electrical issue, whether it be a computer issue, whatever it will be, something as simple as that could completely change our way of life. We've got, if you think uh, about your specific area and your specific um, way of living. Um, let's say the power's out for a month and it's not coming back for a month. For your, for let's just say your county, solely your county. What's going to happen? Those are the things that that I want to try to help prepare people for, uh, to maybe uh, kind of get in their head, kind of get ideas of ways that we can prepare, ways that we can uh, uh, know that if let's say, you know, there was something as simple as uh, somebody accidentally crashes into the local power switch and now that switches out and we don't have power in our county or our area, what are we going to do? Uh, you know, there's not a gas station that can pump gas for anywhere near 20 miles. Now we have to haul our water in because there's no pumps to the water stations. Now we have to protect our assets because maybe fire, EMS, and police no longer have communications capabilities because the towers in the whole county are down because we have no power. It's amazing how quickly something as simple as power being out can cause a complete and utter chaos. And, I, and, and again, I'm, I'm making these videos now not to scare you, but that you can think about things as simple as, you know, how can I be prepared? What can I do to make myself and my family be safe in a situation like that? Um, again, I'm not here to, you know, I'm not, I'm not a big conspiracy theorist. I'm not somebody that thinks, oh, well, we're going to have martial law. We're going to have all this crazy stuff. That's not my, my goal is, is common sense preparedness. So if, let's say, uh, I know in our, our area, southeast Ohio, uh, about 10 years ago, we had a tornado hit. And half of our county was without power. Half of our people were without any power or any ability to do things. Um, you know, what what would we do in that situation? Luckily, the other half of the county had power. But what about like the derecho? We had a derecho hit, um, 2012 time frame. 2012, 2013, right around there. Uh, power was out for like three weeks. You know, what What can we do to prepare for simple things like that? Winter time is upon us. So now it's gonna be snowing. Now it's gonna, there's gonna be ice. What can I do if I'm trapped in my vehicle for 24 hours because I'm in an area where there's no cell service? And I, you know, I'm in an area where there's no homes. I'm in rural America. You know, sometimes we can go into areas where, you know, there's nobody for, 
you know, 15 miles. Now, am I going to walk those 15 miles in, in, in negative zero temperatures? Or am I going to stand by until I can figure something out? But again, how can I prepare myself to better be able to uh, combat those problems that come my way? And a lot of those different things that I'm thinking of is emergency communications. Um, right now, you see behind me, uh, ham radios, uh, CB radios, uh, family radio systems, uh, general radio uh, management systems. There's all kinds of different radio systems that you can use with your family, with uh, the group that you might have, that you, whatever your support group is, that you can get in contact with them. Because, you know, sometimes we think, you know, oh, I'll just make a phone call. Well, sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes we can't make that phone call. Sometimes... Sometimes the cell towers are down. Sometimes our battery's dead. Sometimes we just don't have service. I know here in Southeast Ohio, we have no service in like 90% of our county. That's a little too much. Maybe like 60% of our county, we don't have service. All right, Sitting right here in my garage, I don't have service because the area I'm in and the metal of the garage. So something as simple as that can knock out service. What can we do to still have communications? What can we do to be prepared for any situation that may come our way. So I want you to stay tuned, keep an ear out, all right? Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. Apparently that's a thing now on YouTube. We've got a lot of videos that are gonna be coming your way, all right? I am going to be on it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let up this time. I know, I know I slacked off. I know that there were, you, you know, I have maybe like 15 videos out there right now. My goal is put out at least a video a week, if not more. Again, I want to do so many different things uh, with this channel. There's so many things that we can do, and there's so many things that I can learn from you guys, and you guys can learn from the experiences that I've, ha I've had. And, and I want to see this channel grow, and I want to see a lot of new things. So just, just kind of a preview of what we got coming up. I'm going to be doing uh, emergency preparedness, so whether it's for uh, the weather elements, whether it's for you know power outages, whether it's for uh, any kind of issues like that, I'm going to be doing stuff like that. Um, a, lot of, a lot of you guys know, I think I've talked about it in the past, my time in the military. So in the military I talked about, or I, I served as a signal support specialist, which was a communications guy. So I'm going to talk about communications, so emergency communications, way that we can communicate. I'm going to talk about all these things that are behind me. This is my radio shack, is what this is. Um, I'm going to get into a lot of that as we go, go along. Um, I'm going to talk about some, uh, you know, emergency... Uh, techniques that we can do for medical, emergency medical techniques. You know, what would you do if, say, you fell from a ladder and you ended up cutting a femoral artery? How could you, how could you save someone's life or your own life? Those are some things I'm going to talk about. What if you were hunting and, you know, uh, you get shot or you shoot someone on accident or some, somehow somebody gets hurt? whether it's in a, a you know home defense situation, whether it's something like that. I'm going to talk about some emergency medical trauma care, trauma first aid stuff, things that I've learned in, in my career, uh, in what I do. Uh, some other things that we're going to talk about is, is you know, tactical, uh, tactical things. I'm a big, avid gun guy, all right? I'm a Second Amendment supporter. I'm somebody who cares about the Second Amendment, and I'll tell you right now, I own a lot of guns. I haven't really talked a whole lot about guns in this in this channel, but you know what? I'm going to start doing it. Why? Because the Second Amendment is under attack right now in America, all right? Virginia, right now, there are people who are fighting their congressmen, their senators, their, 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 their local government, their, 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 you know, literally having to make these sanctuary counties, and you've got sheriffs coming out against against their own uh, representatives, saying, "If you guys enact these gun laws you're talking about doing, we're going to deputize people. That way, they can carry weapons." Because the Second Amendment is under attack in America today. And again, I, I I'm not going to be political as in what party affiliation, things like that. But I will say, 100%, I am a constitutionalist because the Constitution is what our country was based on. The Constitution is what we're founded on here in America, all right? I keep a constitution. I have one on my mantle right now, a pocket constitution that I can, you know, that, that that's how important it is to me. So again, the Second Amendment is important, and with those with those rights that we have as, as citizens, there's a lot of responsibility, and, and you need to be responsible in knowing how to, how to effectively and proficiently use your firearms. So I'm going to have a whole section devoted to uh, firearms, Firearm safety, 
you know, uh, being proficient with your firearm, uh, not just being accurate, but also being uh, being able to consistently hit the target where you want to hit the target. How to you know break down and clean and, and fix your weapons systems. All right. Uh, me personally, I'm a big fan of the AR-15, but I'm going to talk about all kinds of other weapon systems. I'm going to talk about the AR-15. I'm going to talk about what kind of gear and equipment you can use with your firearm. You know, do, do I just want to carry a firearm, or do I want to be able to have extra magazines? Do I want to be able to have uh, other things with that? Because again, you know, I, I this channel has been devoted a lot to homesteading and a lot, and again, but my name is Appalachian Survivalist. All right, I'm in Appalachia, all right? I'm in Southeast Ohio. I don't have a problem saying that because I know that, you know, that that I can protect myself and my family. So, you know, why shouldn't I pass that knowledge on to you? Again, you know, I've got years of experience in the military. I've got years of experience in my uh, professional life. And, you know, uh, I've got a lot that I can really talk about and I want to show to you as the viewer because there's a lot that that you know I can really unwrap here again it's been far too long I really really this has been a long time coming and again that's on me that's, I, and I take responsibility for that and I apologize to you as a subscriber anybody who's subscribed to my channel you know if I haven't answered questions or if I haven't haven't made any new videos I apologize right now because you know the time is too late right now there there's so many things that I feel are important right now in society and the way things are going that uh, there's a lot of potential for a lot of things to go bad very quickly. But even even if things don't go bad, even if we just have a really bad snowstorm, you know, there's a lot of things I've learned in my life through my job, through my uh, you know professional life that have saved me that that I I feel is important to pass on to you. So again, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being a subscriber. I ask that if you're not subscribed, you subscribe to the channel, Appalachian Survivalist. I'm going to give as much information and as much knowledge that I have that I can give and I'm telling you if you have anything that you can give to me feel free to contact me I've, you can contact me on my email Appalachian Survivalist at gmail.com uh, you can message me here in the uh, message comment section but uh, again I'm so glad to be back I, I you know it's been far too long and uh, wait stay tuned for the next couple videos because uh, I'm, I've got a lot that I really want to want to start working on so again Thank you, God bless, and uh, stay tuned.